Welcome to this Sage 50 U.S. Edition Anytime Learning Topic. In this lesson, you will learn how to generate and print Federal Form 941 for filing your quarterly payroll taxes. After completing this Anytime Learning Topic, you will be able to generate and print Form 941 using the Payroll Tax Form Selector. Each year, around mid-December, Sage 50 releases a payroll solutions update for the upcoming payroll year. In addition to providing new federal, state, and some local tax formulas for the new payroll year, the year-end payroll solutions update may include late changes to current year tax formulas and processing changes for year-end tax reporting. You should install the January update before processing any tax forms for year-end. You can verify that you have the year-end payroll solutions update installed by selecting Help from the main menu bar then About Sage 50 Accounting. On the About Sage 50 Accounting window, check the installed tax service date. The installed tax service date is formatted with four characters for the year, two for the month, and two for the day. For year-end reporting, the year should show the upcoming year plus 01 for January, and 01 for the day. For instructions on downloading the year-end payroll solutions update, please view the short lesson titled Installing the Payroll Solutions Update. At the end of each calendar quarter, you must file Form 941, the employer's quarterly federal tax return. This form is used to report to the IRS how much federal income, Social Security, and Medicare taxes were withheld from your employees' paychecks, as well as the employer's portion of Social Security and Medicare taxes. You can use the Payroll Tax Form Selector to print the Federal Form 941 on a plain sheet of paper. You can also electronically file Form 941. Because the federal and state governments may release changes to payroll tax calculations late in the year, it is recommended that you wait until at least the last two weeks of December before printing your fourth quarter 941, Form 940, and annual state tax forms. Let's walk through the process together. In Sage 50, from the Employees and Payroll Navigation Center, click the Forms icon and then select Federal Forms from the drop-down menu. At this time, the system will check for payroll forms updates. If updates are found, they will be automatically downloaded and installed. Be patient, this may take a few minutes. But when the forms update process is complete, the Payroll Tax Form Selector will display. On this window, select Federal as the form type and then select the current 941 Schedule B 941V from the available forms list. In the Select Filing Period section, select the year and the quarter for which the 941 will be printed. Then click OK. You will receive some processing messages as the Atrix form retrieves your data from Sage 50. Then the wizard opens with your company FEIN. Verify your company's Federal Employer Identification Number. It's very important that this number is correct, as it will be printed on all of your Federal tax forms. If this number is incorrect, cancel the wizard and open the Maintain Company Information window. Correct the FEIN at the Federal Employer ID field, and then start this wizard again. Let's click Next. Now the Multiple Payroll Data Files page is displayed. If you will be filing payroll forms for more than one Sage 50 company that uses the same Federal Employer Identification Number, select the first option. This option will combine the multiple payroll files into one batch. Otherwise, select No, I will use a single payroll data file for this EIN. And then click Next. On the Company Information page, most of the Company Information fields will be pre-filled based on the information you already entered in the Maintain Company Information window. Ensure that this information is correct. 
The contact should be the authorized agent who is responsible for the payroll information printed on Form 941. When you are finished, click Next. On the Tax Preparer Type page, there are two filer types you can choose. Select I am filing for my own company or employer if the information printed on the forms will be your own and will not include any paid preparer information. Select I am a third-party paid tax preparer if you are a paid preparer. You will then be presented with an additional wizard page where you will enter information required to be filled out by a paid tax preparer. Let's click Next. On the State and Local Tax Items page, confirm that the state and local tax account numbers are correct and formatted properly. Also verify that any W-2 names for local taxes are correct. If the tax account number of a specific tax is not formatted properly, it will be highlighted in red and you will be required to correct it before proceeding. Any changes you make here will not update your company information. Click Next and the program will begin compiling your information. It may take a few minutes to complete and then the 941 report window will display. Review the information on the Report Steps prompt and click OK. Another message will display informing you to complete any fields marked in red. Click OK. Now review the rest of the information printed in Part 1. Fields in blue can be modified and fields marked in red must be completed before you can continue to the next section. A Field Help Information Balloon will display when you click inside an editable field, such as when you enter the total amount of deposits you made during the quarter in Box 13A on page 2. This is an example of one of the required fields that must be completed before going to Part 2 of the form. In Part 2, select the type of deposit schedule you have and enter or review your tax liabilities. If Line 12 above is less than $2,500, or if the previous quarter's 941 Line 12 was less than $2,500 and there was no $100,000 next day deposit obligation, check the first option. If you are required to make monthly scheduled deposits, select the second option and the report will pull your monthly liability totals into the provided fields. If you are a semi-weekly scheduled depositor, select the third option. A prompt will display informing you that semi-weekly depositors must fill out an additional page, the 941 Schedule B. Click OK and the Schedule B will display. Verify the liability amounts calculated for each pay run of the quarter and make adjustments if necessary. When you are finished, click the back arrow to return and complete the remaining information on the form. If any red fields were left blank, you will be prompted to go back and fill them out. Click OK and you will be taken to the field that needs to be completed. If all required fields are complete, click Next and you will be prompted to verify the information on the report. Click Double Check to return to the report. Click Agree to continue. Form 941 is now ready to file. Click Submit. On the Filing Options window, click the Print button to print a certified federal copy of the 941. If your payroll tax service subscription includes e-filing, click the e-file button and follow the instructions to electronically file your 941. On the print window, click OK. After printing the 941, a Did you complete processing this report prompt will display. Click Yes. You will be returned to the Sage 50 desktop. This concludes our look at how to print Form 941 using the Payroll Tax Form Selector. You have successfully completed this Anytime Learning Topic. 
you have learned how to print Form 941 using the Payroll Tax Form Selector. Thank you for taking this Anytime Learning lesson. For additional information on training options, please visit us at sageu.com.